Oh yeah, I'm back on. I'm back on. <sighs> so I just lost my internet for a little bit and I just came back on. No big deal, no big deal, no big deal, no big deal. Okay, from instead of the variable. Okay, else, whoops. I'm right. I'm just finding the the UV coordinates I want to use. I think I've already got some code someplace that sets the UV uh, material scroller. Let me just see. So there's this thing that sets the offset. I need something a little more not twiddly than that. Uh, let me see. Let me see what Unity Material what properties it has. Set and scale. Okay, this one I understand. think of what does scale actually mean here? This feels like when uh, something I'll have to play with a little bit to figure out how to calculate the value. I can stop saying private on everything since that's the default.
I'm going to create some uh, public variables to just, just tweak with because the documentation doesn't really say oh offset x and y actually I understand pretty well but still worth tweaking uh, but the document documentation in Unity doesn't say anything about the scale values and how they're actually supposed to work and I before I like make detailed guesses I want to fuck around with it to see kind of just tweak the values and get something that seems to say how I will uh, position the, the offset and scale to get to specific parts of the texture to display. Okay, so float offset x, offset y, scale x and y. Okay, and I can even do this in the editor, which would be a kind of a nice thing. Uh, that would save me some time. What's this complaint about? Oh. Let me see what I can do. the namespace is it named correctly is the name of the file matching it's not that's the other thing it gets me okay try again there we go I think one is like a hundred percent. So suppose I wanted um, something from the left column. So I'll, I'll start with the neutral one first. So if I say 0.25, I think that gives me one whole column going all the way across. It seems to. Uh, going the other way, I think it's uh, going to be a smaller number, like 0 0.1, 0 0.5.
Feels like the offset's not doing anything. Whoa, there did something. Huh. I had it working before though. What would I do over here? Offset times DX times D1. Okay, offset is uh, a certain amount of time that's elapsed. It's, it's probably going to be 0 to 1 again, so let me just try that. 0.5 versus 0. Okay, that, that seems a little more like what's going on. So, 0 is showing angry. Let me see where angry is in the overall. Angry, oh, okay, okay, it's... So zero is, is uh, it's going to start from the bottom of the texture. So if I want something up here, I need to approach one, but not get all the way to one. Because one is just going to be the same thing as zero. It wraps around. So it's like going to be one minus uh, something. So let's try point eight. Amused is where I'm at. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nine, yeah, that moves up. Point nine five. Uh, see, I'm starting to see it now. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, let's put that back to one. Or uh, okay. Point eight. That's amused. Point nine. Nine five. Nine eight, nine nine. Okay, one. Oh, okay. No, I am all the way up to the top now. If I'm like, like at one. Interesting. So zero and one, they are the same place. Um, let's start playing with the scale here. So I go 0 Okay. Uh, feels like first you want to get the scale right. So scale Y is going to be. Let, let me let me see if I can calculate the actual number. So I know that the texture is one thousand twenty-four. That's one. But if the actual height that I want is going to be 128, then the ratio of that texture will be 128 divided by 124, 0.125. So my theory is that is the correct scale is 0.125, and we will find out. Okay, hard to tell from that, but it could be. Looking right. Okay, so. Yeah, 
it's a little confusing. It's a little confusing because I would have thought from the scale that I set that would stretch all the way across. Let me, let me go back and look at the art. Today. Oh, these boxes are, are not right. Okay. Didn't set them to go all the way to the bounds of uh, of the mouth area. Save all that. Export all that. here. Okay, so now, now it makes some sense. Um, still seems a little bit off. It's going up and down on the X, maybe some kind of wraparound behavior. There's like a few different problems with this, but I just want to see what it looks like just for a moment. I think I understand scale X and Y, I don't understand as well the offsets. problem with the positioning
Okay. So I, I see how I can start to get these to control what's shown in here. Um, I'm going to just check online real quick just to save myself from rediscovering. Um, let's see if somebody just lays it out for me real easy. What's the right way to ask this? Unity set material UV to rect. I'm gonna look at this one too. This might be better. Oh, that's for a mesh. Never mind. Yeah, UV chords to a quad in script. Yeah. Yeah, he's trying to solve the same thing as me. All right, uh, I mean, I have the basic idea already. Um, by the way, better documentation on, on the APIs here than, than in the official uh, uh, plus one. Ow, I tried, I tried. Okay, so. I always hate it when it starts doing this highlighting stuff, but I don't, uh, it makes me lose faith in the IDE. Is it going to stop? Okay, maybe I'm okay. Um, good. Good. Offset, scale, um, rect. So let's say pass and erect. Returned to offset, not three, two. I'm passing them in as ref because I don't want to be creating new vector twos all the time. So I will have. Um, Stop it. Two member variables there and just set those. Okay, that highlighting is driving me nuts. Makes me feel like the ID is gonna crash or something. Close that. Uh, I'll reopen. Where? Where is it? Okay. So and then I want constant texture. I might already have this. Nah. Let's 
rest of the texture width. So I did notice a lot of pixelation there. Um, for drawing this in that makes me think either either I want to like keep that pixelation as a you know, little quirk doesn't look bad I just don't, does it support what I want to convey if either I want to do that and just say that's pixelate that's what I want or I can rescale my artwork, which is a little time consuming, but it might be the right choice. I don't know. So scale seems to be the easy one for me. Scale is, uh, scale x equals rect width divided by texture width. That's the easy one. I got that. No problem. The one I'm still having trouble with is the um, the offset. I understand that it's like a zero to one type thing. Here, let me go back and look at this diagram. Okay, zero is down here. One is up here. It does seem like there's some. Um, Some extra stuff. Okay, one thing I'm thinking about is this this image here. That's probably off in the top right hand corner. So I go point eight. Zero. Okay, so I think when I saw the mouth going up and down, my selection area went all the way over here, and that kind of changed the positioning of things, um, which is fine. expect zero to show up though. I don't like what I put it to zero and and it's kind of off center. To me it seems like it should be centered at zero. It's a little hard for me to tell which of these I'm looking at, so I think I think I'm looking at this one. Let me try saying why different. Yeah. So I think I am. Yep. All right, let me just start with something and see if I can get it going. Um, offset x equals 
right, left, divide by the texture width. is going to be flipped so let's just flip it here texture height minus uh, I remember right it's not quite as simple though because you're So it's going to be Y and texture height. I don't know. Let's just try this to start. Let's just try it to start. So it's public and then I can just set it in the editor and see what the end result is. Uh, right. Dang it. Right. No, from right. Okay, from right. And then I don't need these to be refs, actually. It's the same thing to just pass an instance to it. Offset scale. Okay. This can be offset. And this can be scale. some errors. Fifteen. No, I think those are old errors. Let's clear that. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. No, it's way off. What's my width? Oh, I already have it. I already have that set. There's already a calculation that was made in that face sheet thing. Okay. 
Interesting. Okay. Well, I like that. So in this case, it's just going to be... Uh, Point two five, yes. Point one two five. Uh, well, no, but it's something, something not ridiculous. I'm seeing if I'm close or not because it's like nothing shows at all. No changes at all. I want to cha move these around. Am I just ignoring the new values? I don't think so. Yeah, let's see what they come back as. Offset. Okay, it's not getting copied. I think that has to do with these things being a struct instead of a, a class. So let's change them to ref. before. I suppose that might have been the problem. Here, let me try it without the refs. I'm surprised it even worked. I'm surprised it compiled before. Okay, so those are all there. Um, let me pick the worst frame.
for having detail. That would be the one. Let's just see what that looks like in game. Because that's way more pixelated than the, the source texture. I didn't make it that pixelated. How much more detail that has. I'll, I'll zoom in real close. Nah, I, I guess it, I guess that's not so ridiculous. And let's see there's some pixels. Okay, so it's actually it's down sampling from 2048. Let me let me set the import settings. Um, no, no, because if I do that, I'll have to redo a bunch of code. Um, so I got a few other problems to solve. I have some decisions to make too, though. Um, why is this doing this? Just say if under not equal to no. So I got some decisions to make. Um, Do I want a pixelated maw? So the argument for it is add some kind of style to it, but it doesn't match the style of the other stuff that I made. So I don't want a pixelated model. Let 
Now, if it was double precision, would it look better? So I already have detail that's twice as detailed as this. It would still look pixelated, but it would look kind of like in that um, in-between space where you're not really trying to make it look retro, but it just happens to look kind of retro. <laughs> those are giant pixels so if I went back to Photoshop and uh, made all of these things double size I think they would they would resample okay um, So basically, if I made them all double size and then I um, scrunched this down to the 1024 texture size, <clears throat> they'd look better. I'm kind of like leaning towards making them even larger, but yeah, I don't know. I'll go back and look at it again. That, that looks terrible. I know I don't like that, but will I like it if it's got t twice as much definition? You know, I, I can try out the twice as much definition thing. It's not that hard. I can do, uh, I can save this as, let's see. It's already saved. Um, I can do the import setting so that it goes to 2048 which is the original size. And face sheet. You can set the texture size here. This is going to break something else, but I'm only putting it here temporarily so I can. Oh, but it's got all these other numbers in it. Damn it. Okay. Here, let me. Let me just make a copy of face sheet. This is not a dry way of programming. It's it's the bad way to do things, but this is just a quick thing to do. Delete it all. Okay. Just go through it all and just multiply everything by two. So I, I just want to see what it will look like. That's all that's all I'm doing. If I increase the detail times two. 180, 192. Uh, what's 768 times two? 
1536. Okay, so that's more detailed. Let's take a look. Do you know, I could live with that. That's not bad. I wonder too about like maybe throwing some kind of shader over the top of it that does something else funky to it. So I want it to be right in the middle, so I'll have to do a little positioning stuff to move it to the middle. But I can do that by... Um, making like a series of changes that arrange the, the moss frames inside of a, a 1024 sheet but using up all the space but like doubling the size of all of these these parts here um, so I can do that and then just simply moving uh, the mesh that uh, is going to hold this thing down positioning that way will work the other thing uh, I can do is kind of like move these down inside of the squares that they're in so that's fine I'm not worried about that part that's going to be easy <coughs> So that's like maybe the worst mouth right there. Let me let me look at one of the more typical ones that we'll see more of, because the L doesn't show that much. Um, this is the simplest one. see a lot of is this one and there's a number of other ones that look close to it so yeah you know what like this this is a part of the game that will play for two minutes and you'll never come back to it again too so that's the thing I don't want to fuss over this too much it's like a, a small part of the game if I get a song that plays this mouth singing along with it um, these knives following you around, the knives stabbing you. You know, there's like enough here. I don't want to fill too much of it. So here's what I'm, I'm resolving myself to do. I'm going to redo the face sheet later, not tonight, so that uh, this this larger presentation uh, or more more defined. Uh, 
detailed presentations there, the, the less pixelated one uh, of the two that we looked at. And then I'll get it positioned so it's right in the middle. And then I'll get the, uh, the mouth events, the time changing of the mouth frames to, to audio to, uh, to be controlling it correctly. I'll play the song and you know, there's still a lot to do here. Uh, but it's going to be a nice effect. It's going to be a surprising two minutes of the game for the player. They'll die and they'll suddenly be transported to here and this weird character will sing a song to them. So, uh, I, think, I think that's pretty good. Uh, Alright, yeah, this is probably going to take me get everything going on it till the end of this week. That's my goal. I'll just have this whole death box thing finished by the end of the week. Which would be like two weeks for two minutes of the game. <laughs> but I don't know. I find it's like the, the things like this that stick in people's head for a long time. And you know, there's, there's these moments in movies and other entertainment where you see something that's kind of special and it makes you hang on for more special moments that may be coming. So I want to do something special here. Something unusual that makes you say, what the fuck? And uh, that's why I'm spending two weeks on two minutes of the game. Save that. Save the project. And then this is also a known good point in the source code, so let's save the source code by all means. few notes in case I need to go back backwards in time and go in an old version of the source okay so that's a stream the things I said I'd do I did them Mr. Me Seeks can die now stopping the stream stopping the stream stop stop stopping it stopping it stop stop